In this lecture, we will see the features of 8051 microcontroller. Of course, 8051 microcontroller, it is a 40 pin IC. It is a 40 pin IC. Okay. Which includes four ports, which are P0, P1, P2, and P3. Okay. There are four ports. 40 pin IC, 4 ports P0, P1, P2 and P3 in which means all ports are 8 bit. All ports are 8 bit. Okay, that means they contain 8 data lines or the 8 pins for each port. Okay, so all ports are 8 bit or pins. Right, next. 8051 is a 8-bit microcontroller. It is a 8-bit microcontroller. So what do you mean by 8-bit microcontroller? In 8-bit microcontroller or in 8051, the main CPU or the arithmetic logic unit is designed for 8-bit data. Okay. So means its ALU works for the or it is constructed by using 8 bit registers that means in each ALU or in this the ALU each register have 8 bits that it can handle 8 bits that is from D0 to D7 means addition of 8 bit addition of um, 8 bit in the form of digits then whatever the arithmetic process that is addition subtraction division multiplication it takes place in the form of 8 bits and uh, logical that is or nor and whatever the logical operations all are take place the in the 8 bit form that is the d0 to d7 or 8 bits so that's why it is a 8 bit microcontroller and as it is a 8 bit microcontroller it requires that of 8 bit okay so that's why all ports are of 8 bits or pins right there are how many ports four ports okay next it requires 5 volt dc supply it requires 5 volt dc supply for its operation next it has two timers or counters Okay, it has two timers or counters. Those are the T0 and T1. Okay, next. That's two external interrupts. It has two external interrupts and two internal that is timer and one for serial communication okay so there are five interrupts two external means there are two pins or the hardware interrupts two internal or which belong to the timer interrupts and one is for the serial communication that means there are the five interrupts next it has sixteen address lines that means it can address 2 to the power 16 that is the 64 KB external memory either it can be used as a RAM or ROM it has how many pins for address 16 pins so external memory how much it is possible to uh, connect the external memory that is the 2 to the power 16 that is the 64 KB okay next it has 128 byte RAM 
or the general purpose RAM. Okay, actually it is a 256, but 128 is the means in the data sheet we will see that the 128 byte, but actually it is a 256. So out of these remaining 120 are reserved for its special purpose or the special purpose registers. So that's why we can say that it has 128 byte RAM and remaining are used for the special purpose registers. Okay, so it has 128 byte RAM. It has 4K internal flash memory or ROM. It has 4K internal flash memory or ROM. Right? So these are the features related with the 8051 microcontroller. So what are those? It is a 40 pin IC. Okay. Of course, which includes the four ports. That is a P0, P1, P2 and P3. All ports are 8 bit or each port have 8 pins. Eight, this is a 8051 is a 8 bit microcontroller. What, is, what do you mean by 8 bit microcontroller? Means it handles data of 8 bit. What are the adding? Its arithmetic logic unit that is the main CPU is designed for the 8 bit data handling. So that's why it requires or the, it is a 8 bit microcontroller. It requires 5 volt DC supply for its operation. It has two timers or counters T0 and T1. There are five interrupts for the 8051, two external, two internal and one for serial communication. It has 16 address lines that is 2 to the power 16 equals to 64 KB. External memory can you can attach or you can join the external memory. It has 128 byte RAM and it has 4K internal flash memory. Okay. And another it has one UART that is the serial communication port. It has a one UART that is the serial communication port. Okay. So generally microcontroller works with a parallel communication. For parallel communication, there are four ports P0, P1, P2, and P3. And for serial communication, that means a transmission and decision, uh, the data in the serial co communication or in the form of serial communication. So that means it consists of a one UART. UART means universal asynchronous receiver transmitter. So this we will study in next lectures or the next sessions in detail. So these are the just 805 microcontroller features means while facing or the while uh, introducing with the 805 microcontroller, you should uh, know all these things at least means just introduction to these things okay so in next lecture we will see details about these lectures